Hello everyone, today I kind of want to talk about a small material function that Epic once made that I really like and use quite often, but I don't hear many people talk about it, so I'm gonna spend a video about it and make an addition to it. So this is the swizzle material function, and basically what it does is it um, takes two values and then flips them around. For instance, uh, if you have uh, the u and the v, from texture coordinates, it changes it into V and U kind of thing. So to give you an example, at the moment, this uh, mask thingy is roundish at the top. And once you use the swizzle, it's going to the left. And this is quite handy because sometimes you want to flip a texture and you don't want to open Photoshop, flip it or rotate it and do that again. So that's where swizzle comes in handy. It has an option for factor 2 and one for factor 3. The factor 3 one I never used, but the factor 2 one I use quite often. So I'm like, why not make a small material function that's kind of like this, but has a few more options so you can easily pop them around. Um, let's do that. So, but before we go, I was like, why would they call it swizzle? Because when I googled swizzle, it was like a mixed alcoholic drink. And I'm, I'm sure the people at Epic enjoy a beverage from now and then, but when looking a little bit further, apparently it's also some computer graphic kind of thing where you just flip the order of things, and I guess that they meant that with this whistle. All right, just without that mumbo jumbo, let's just go on and make something cool. Now let's open the swizzle first, and as you can see, all it does is component mask the red and the green channel and append it. So let's copy that, Control C and paste it in here control v now for now i need the texture coordinate node oh not the texture sample hold down u left mouse click and get the texture coordinate node plug it in and you have the same thing as the swizzle factor 2 as you can see there we go now we can remove this one and we can actually close that one as well don't want to change it and to actually see a little bit more what's going on i'm also going to grab a panner for now so we can actually see a little bit better what's going on. I move these two here and connect the coordinate to the texture coordinate node there. And let's give it a little bit of movement. And as you can see, it's moving to the left. Um, so this is already something nice, but we obviously want the regular one to be available. Just as an example, to see what's going on. So that one is just. Vertically, this one is horizontally, and now we need to tweak a little bit. We want two more. We want this one to be downwards, uh, downwards, and this one to be also rightwards. I don't have any better words for it, so let's keep it at that. Let's copy these two and place them underneath. Now let's add a multiply and connect it to those two. Just gonna move those. Want the mask closer and then copy them easily. Copy, paste, and hook them up again. And also grab the append. I should have copied them along with component masks. Well, here we go. And plug it in. And as you can see, it's now moving the same way as the previous texture sample. So let's get a factor two. Hold down the two, left mouse click, and you get one. Plug it in and set the red channel, the R, in this case the U, to minus 1 and the green channel to 1. And as you can see it's now flipped and still panning the right direction. So it's all moving to the left. That's kind of what I want. And if I would have that panner elsewhere, then this would move to the other direction. But something... Blah. Try it out yourself. And now also we need this to be downwards so I'm actually gonna just copy the multiply and the factor 2 and plug it in there and put this about to 1 and minus 1 and now we have all four options the first one is the general option and we don't need to actually make that material function out of that but the other three are oh well, this, this one's from the swizzle and this ones are for the whistle and the dizzle I have no idea what to name them so and there's that. So now let's make a material function out of it. And for that, we need my content browser. Uh, where's my content browser? 
and I already have a lot of material functions, so let's make a new one. All right, mouse click, go to materials, and get a material function. I always start with Luos for some reason, so Luos and then Swizzle. And I could also add Whizzle because I like the whole whirly swirly, burly whirly swizzle. So the Swizzle Whizzle. I could also call them Swizzle Shizzle. That's actually a much better name. So Swizzle. Shizzle, my nizzle. Alright, so there we go. We go back to the material we made. And we copy the bottom parts like that. We don't need the panner, but we can remove them real quick. Put it out here. And now let's grab an output. We need three. So there and there. Hook them up. And there we go. Um, that one up. That one up. So we need to remove the panner, but we can replace it with something else that's actually quite needed. We need an input. And this will allow us to plug something into the material function. And in this case, because it's a U and a V, that's only two factors, so we need a factor two. And we can call it the coordination. Coordinates. There. Description. Uh, Plug your UVs into this. Cannot can be controlled by a panner, rotator, etc. etc. So the preview values should be actually the texture coordinate node. So use the preview value as default. Yes, and plug in the texture coordinate node. Now if you hold down control and click on some wire inputs or outputs then you can drag them and place them there there we go so now we have two outputs and as you can see here this one is well uh zero degrees this one could be called 90 degrees uh, etc so this one is 180 degrees or actually flipped uh Horizontally, flip horizontal, there we go. This one is rotate 90, and this one is uh, rotate 270, if I'm correct. And we can double check it in a second. I basically messed that up. So that's basically everything we need. We can make it a little bit cleaner if we want to, but that should be it. Now we can set these in the way we want. So if this is the first, this is priority zero, it's going to be the top one. And the rotate 270 should probably be the last one. So I'm going to add a lower value there. And I decide to call this rotate uh, 180 degrees. Not really rotated, it's more flipped, but should be fine, you know? Um, I think that's it. You can give the description. Uh, rotate, flips a texture, pictures UV coordinates. You're gonna expose it to the library, and since I always use the same library thing for me, I'm actually gonna grab one real quick. Uh, Lewis wobbly. I have no idea. Pick one and. Copy my library categories text. You can pick whatever you want, of course. You can call it uh, John's material functions or whatever. In my case, it's Luos's material functions. And uh, I have no idea why it only copied Luos, so I need to double check because I don't want to mess that up. There we go. It's mod functions. There we go. Oh. There. Here that this one is gone. And uh, now, once we save it, we can actually find it in the content browser again. Go to the Swizzle Whistle material that we made before, place it down, and if everything is correct, then I should be able to plug this into the, that one. Um, actually, why is the 90 before that? Back to the drawing board. Ah, uh, okay. 
it should be zero uh, one it should be two that's the order it's going to be so basically it's going to be that order save them and there we have it now it's going to be rotated 90 degrees and this one is going to be rotated 170 degrees and as you can see we have now four different rotations with the same texture so now there's no need to go back to photoshop or whatever and rotate that texture that's basically it and um, yeah i could give the material function away but in theory i think you should do it yourself so you can actually learn something but yeah i'm gonna give it away it's gonna be for 4.16 so you can probably use it in any version above that but yeah okay so that's it take care everybody and have a nice day bye bye